Okay, this next problem deals with roots of multiplicity. I have here a graph of unknown degree with very little information it might seem. Know that it goes through negative 1, 1, and 2. It also has a y-intercept of 12. So we need to find the function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the prime factorization theorem. That's a times Okay, so x minus 1 is going to be x plus 1, or sorry, x equals negative 1. It's going to go through 1, so that would be x minus 1. Then it's going to go through 2, that would be x minus 2. Now, the multiplicity of these roots we need to consider. So, the multiplicity of the root at negative 1, which corresponds to this factor, seems to be multiplicity 2. It wants to go down and come up, so that's two actions at the same place. So that's going to be squared. At 1, it goes clean through, so there's no need to think about any other multiplicity but 1. So that's multiplicity 1. And then this last term, it seems like it wants to go up, it levels off, and then it keeps going. So that's going to be multiplicity 3. Now, taking all that together, that means that this is an x to the 6th, which seems to make sense. It's certainly not an x to the 4th. Uh, it could be higher degree, but this is the lowest degree that we could probably make it. So we now have to find what happens at 0, 12. So we need to find f of 0. So that equals a times 1 squared times negative 1 times negative 2 to the third. So 1 times negative 1. Negative 2 to the third would be negative 8. So times negative 1 is positive 8. So I'm going to get 8a and that equals 12. So I divide by 8. I get a is equal to, let's see, divide out a common 4. So that would be 3 halves. So f of x is going to equal 3 halves, x plus 1 squared, x minus 1, x minus 2 cubed. And that is the polynomial that we have pictured here.